Let's take a look at an exponential decay problem. The difference between exponential growth and exponential decay lies in k, the constant of growth. When k is positive, we have exponential growth. And when k is negative, we have exponential decay. Now in this problem, we know that carbon-14 has a half-life of 5750 years. If initially there are 60 grams of carbon-14, how many grams are left after 3000 years? Half-life means that after 5750 years, there is half the initial function value left. So we know that the initial function value is 60 grams. That means that after 5750 years, there's now 30 grams in there. So to take a look at this, either you could plug 60 into Y naught and 30 into Y, but let's do this a more general way. We know that there's half of the initial value at time 5750. So this is equal to y naught e to the k times 5750. Now you'll notice that the reason why this works out so nicely is because we can now divide by y naught. And when you divide by y naught, our y naughts cancel out and we're left with one half on the left hand side. Now, had we plugged in 60 for y naught and therefore 30 for y, we would have divided both sides by 60 and 30 over 60 gives us 1 half. So whether or not you want to plug in your values, 60, and therefore half of that 30, or keep the integrity of the y naught and put in half of y naught as your function value at time 5750, it doesn't matter. You'll still get the same value. So now we have one half is equal to e to the 5750k. Now to solve for k, since that's what we're solving for here, the constant of growth, we can take the natural log of both sides. So here we have the natural log of one half is equal to, when we take the natural log of e to the 5750k, we have the natural log of e to the 5750k. And of course we can take our exponent, we can move that in front of the natural log of e, and the natural log of e is just one. And that leaves us with the natural log of one half is equal to 5750k. Now, let's solve for k. k is equal to the natural log of 1 half over 5750. Now remember, we're looking at exponential decay, which means that our k, the constant of growth, should be negative. But if you look at it as it is now, this doesn't look negative. However, it's all in the natural log. Let me show you why this is negative. The natural log of 1 half can be written as the natural log of 2 to the negative 1. And this is all over 5750. We have a property of natural log that says if we have an exponent, we can just move it in front. This is equal to the negative natural log of 2 over 5750. And that is why your k is negative. If you take the natural log of a number between 0 and 1, it turns out that your natural log is actually negative. So here we have exponential decay. Now that we have k, we can actually solve our problem.